Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, <laughs> she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. So, it's probably safe to assume that you know what you're doing. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice okay. of her. Not the most really taking care of, part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Definitely makes us feel bad, that's for sure. Following Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful. Especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Down Sorry. below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Love cinnamon notes. Try one wines. these days. It's nice of him to do this. I mean, nice, well, picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Volius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius school for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close. Oh no. The well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. Yeah, interesting. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Teaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. I wonder if we know this guy. Monsieur Bolius's wife, Nina, kept a garden here. Oh, a supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And once again, planting it with herbs and other vegetation. So, it seems like there's a lot of things that can be done to this place. I'm guessing we have the ability to... Either upgrade it or Madame Nina planted upon its current state. delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. <laughs> A lot of this name is Barnabas Basil. We'll just call him BB. I think we're coming full circle here. Follow me, please. Follow me, please. Uh, that's what this I've been served doing. as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. 
Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Yeah, see, we're taking all these notes on things we could do to the place. Oh, what about down here? The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the um, mess, which what I mess? made while fighting the Bruxa. Oh, right. Thanks, <laughs> Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Follow me, please. Okay. Got to remember, this is the first place, really, that we ventured to in this area. As you can see, the facade is how to put it. And look, now the stained. sun's rising. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. <laughs> Back in. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. Though one must admit, time has taken its toll. If... Forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. I'm in, I actually. I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. So, what is the renovating going to cost Mentioned me? Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin <laughs> this rejuvenation. Everywhere. Um... I wouldn't mind doing some work on the house itself, probably paint. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons. Of which he was a passionate collector. Okay, I like the sounds of that. Who? I mean, it's our place. We got to invest in it. Let's let's spruce it up. It's in your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do. It shall not take them too long. I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Okay. I'm into it. Is there it. Anything, anything else you require, sir? I think we're good for right now. Um, well, we could find out how much the grounds cost and then Got these spacious start grounds. putting some savings aside. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. That makes sense. A good way to start things off, don't you think? So, how much would it cost for a grindstone? In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone, professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Yeah, that's fine. We can afford that. Then send out for one, please. A high-quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. <laughs> this guy gets things done. Else, sir? Uh, we can ask about the armor table. It's probably My armor the same needs cost. work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Do it. Good. Order me up a table like that. 
Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Um, I think for now we're good. Now what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about <laughs> redecoration today. But I wanted to ask you something else. I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. We're gonna take a break. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Okay. Wait three days for the general refurbishment to finish. One day for grindstone, one day for armor's table. And restore it to its former glory. Now, uh, it looks like... Okay, so she's in here. Let's see how she's doing. Oh, look. Oh, so if we grab... If we find paintings around, then we can just come back and hang them here. That's cool. Mm. Looks like we've got mm. some guests now. I wonder if we can bring... Like, if multiple people... Oh, cool. We can display our uh, weapons, perhaps? I like the idea of hanging some relic swords up here. Um... Let's do that. Oh, this is awesome! We've got a bookshelf. Oh, really cool. All of our books are here. I mean, we can read these at any time. But it's just cool that we can... We have, like, a place now. That's, this is great. Okay, um... We can place trophies. We don't have any trophies in our inventory. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I mean, we have these things. Maybe these aren't the type of trophies that we can place. We can, we can kind of make this place our own, you know? We've got storage. Um, I like keeping all of our... All of our relic swords. The rest, we can probably just sell. The viper sword. Uh, let's just store this. Look at all these weapons, my god. Can we sort over here, too? Like, look at how... Look at all the stuff that I've stored. It's crazy. Uh, witch hunter's armor. We can actually take this and sell it. Bannard Breastplate we can take and sell. These Necker Hide Boots I like. I think we'll just keep them. Keep all of our Witcher gear. Crossbow we could take and sell. These basic swords we'll take. Wild Hunt Warrior Sword, we'll keep that one. Witch Hunter Sword we can take. And we're going to go sell these things. Now, I imagine we could rest here. Is that... You're waiting for your bed to be replaced. Okay. I guess that makes sense. What do we have up here, I wonder? Like a guest room? I think he did say that, didn't he? Armor stand. So if we want... this The new moon armor is pretty cool. And we could place gauntlets there too. And boots. <laughs> That's... Uh, I like this. Is there anything else? Okay, well, sooner or later, this place is going to come together, and it is going to be beautiful. Now, um, there's a couple of things we should probably get to doing. Uh, let's see. Why don't we go and find this house? It was way back... Yeah, it's in the city. So, we can go there. There's a couple of things going on here. Um, there's a notice board. There's a quest, it looks like. So, if we go to... 
the signpost. We can just hop over there. And find out what else is going on. Go on. Search for a house with a tree-shaped crest outside the walls of Hotville. Now, the reason we're looking for this is because um, we solved that, like, marital spat after death. Um, <laughs> she said she would give us this guy's Gwent cards. Oh, interesting. Shit-talking Milton. The butcher of Bluffigan called to be the savior of Tucson. Open house at the Beauclair chapter of the Transnational Vigilance Club. Argues. All are invited. Ah, Workshop. taste of the whip. Perhaps you'll stay longer. Unto Duke Raymond. An armor of sorts? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarge. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Uh, mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witch armor of exceptional quality. Grandmaster level. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. I'm your guy. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? Uh, no offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No. I rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Okay, I like this idea. How do you think these diagrams wound up in uh, Tucson? All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tucson? How is that even possible? Tucson was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their I don't think we've heard of that guy before. May. Heard about him. Never mind. Supposed to have been <laughs> the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune. And the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Okay. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? Big beasts? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. That seems fair. How did you end up apprentice to an elf? This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master uh -oh. while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grandmaster quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. 
Well, we're both motivated then. So I like that. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Let's start with uh, my own, the wolf. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Toussaint from Castel Gropian. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termes. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termes. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the witcher disappeared without a trace. Okay, and what about the griffin? The griffin? What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa, and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. So we've got a little bit of work ahead of us here. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Okay, and what about the bear? Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bare-head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much haggled coin. Haggled like a f fishwife? Ooh, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed. The bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Mm, okay. And the Manticore. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The witcher, however, 
failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl Witchers with and the Ducal Guard. Booze-fueled brawls? He was arrested and sentenced. No. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Okay. So, uh, I'm interested, and I would love to get this Grandmaster gear. What do you have on offer? Let's see what else you got going on here. Uh... Got a few things. I like it. Um, what about my stuff? Is there anything that you might be interested in? I can get rid of this, this... The Guardsman armor. Look, at he's actually got... Serious cash too. Witch Hunter's armor we don't need. Um, this is a relic, but I'm not interested. I just want the relic swords. You can get rid of... Uh, I should keep the New Moon boots. And maybe replace those on the, uh, on the display back at home. Uh, we can get rid of these swords. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of the Torloon and the Anferth. I should have stuck the sword, or I maybe should have stuck the um, the shovel on the wall too. Okay, I think we're set. I think we're set. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Thank you. We'll need it. So, uh, it tells us to go to the ruins of Bastroy Prison. Um, and there's all of these different diagrams for each of the different gear sets, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, that'll definitely keep us busy. I'm just going to turn up the music a bit, although there's nothing happening right now. But I am curious to see where these are, so... Can we... Search for... There's quests. That's about it, though. Alright, let's go here and see what's going on. And then we can start trying to find those things on the path to others. No two ways about it. Disperse! The exhibition of the Reginald Dobry Monument will remain closed until further notice. Closed? Uh, Why, we wrote an entire day to see Oh, an art you curator, okay. And we paid good Ooh. coin for the what tickets. Give it back! Your tickets remain valid. You must merely wait patiently for the exhibition to reopen. Please disperse! The exhibition is closed. What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't <laughs> bear this, please. I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Oh, perhaps what the reason you're work? closed? Work related to the monument to Reginald Daubry. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? I mean, just tell me what's going on. The statue. Just tell me what's the problem. A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with The girl me. in the background is just staring. Here it is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. <laughs> Somebody oh, no. stole the testicles oh, God. of a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. 
The sole Looks like it stole more than the testicles. The of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. <laughs> all who buy a ticket, that is. Yeah, no, of Thus, course. You must retrieve That's why he's not letting stones. anybody in. <laughs> so, can you just tell me what you know? Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, yeah, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Okay, and are there any suspects? Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. <laughs> prized pouch. Who would not want it for himself? Yeah, and when did these testicles go missing? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. All right, I'm gonna have to look around for this guy's Need balls. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must, as long as you return grasping Reginald's <laughs> stones. Without them, oh, yeah. Beauclair's entire oh, tourist sector faces trying times. Trying Wouldn't want that, times. would we? <laughs> <laughs> Reginald, don't 